Hey, Tripsters! Okay, since Garth released the 25th anniversary edition of The Chase, I have been thinking about this, and I think I may know what is coming in the future, and I think these are going to be some of the 25th anniversary editions that will be released. Now, keep in mind, we don't know what he's going to release this fall yet. <clears throat> So, this may change, okay? But as of right now, I figure this is some of the stuff we're going to see. In Pieces is one of the few albums that Garth has had that has not gone diamond. But it only lacks a couple million to go diamond. So, I figure, <clears throat> let's see, since it was released in 93, 2018 will be the 25th anniversary of that CD. Okay, so I figure if between now and then it does not go diamond, then we're going to see something similar to this. A special 25th anniversary edition, which will help him sell enough to actually go diamond on this album. Okay, now... Uh, the same thing for the rest of these. Uh, Fresh Horses has not gone diamond. So in 2020, yes, the year 2020, I figure if it doesn't go diamond between now and then, we'll see something similar to this. Another special anniversary, 25th anniversary edition of Fresh Horses. Now, Scarecrow, there's a, um, there's kind of an issue here with Scarecrow because if you check the numbers, it's actually sold around 11 million albums worldwide, but it's not certified by RIAA as Diamond. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the deal is there. I don't know if they're not counting worldwide, if they only count the United States sales but uh, as of right now, even though if you look at the numbers on the page, it says Diamond, it's not actually RIAA certified Diamond. So technically, it's still on the list of not certified Diamond. So in um, 2026, we'll probably see something along the lines of this. These are going to be the special 25th anniversary editions and the years they will come out if these albums have not gone diamond by the time their 25th anniversary year gets here. Uh, plus, we don't know what kind of compilations or box sets or special releases that he's going to have, which may help jump the sales up for these albums and may actually help them reach diamond status before the 25th anniversary uh, year gets here for each of those albums. Now, uh, Man Against Machine and Gunslinger are nowhere near diamond status. I'm not sure these have even gone platinum, okay? They may have, but um, I haven't actually been able to find official numbers for these two albums. Uh, but I figure with technology improving all the time and Garth so keen on re-releases, I figure... Um, let me check the dates. Uh, in 2024, we're probably going to see something along the lines of this. A special re-release for the 10-year anniversary. And um, the reason I was talking about technology is because I figure they're going to say technology's better, the sound is better, so we've remastered the CD to make it sound better. Okay, so the 10-year anniversary of Man Against Machine will probably come with its own special remastered release. And again, the same thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the same thing for the uh, Gunslinger album. Now, I think the Gunslinger album has the most potential for a special release because he has songs on the limited edition version of it, which is only in the box set. If he chooses in 10 years to re-release this as a remastered, better sounding CD or a 10th anniversary edition CD, there's a possibility that he could add the songs that's on the special edition or 
he could just uh, release the special edition as a 10 year anniversary and of course it would have to be remastered uh, either way uh, I figure in 2026 maybe we're probably going to get a 10 year anniversary edition of Gunslinger We just don't know what's going to be on it. Uh, but I think since Garth is all about the numbers, whether he ever admits that or not, we, as fans, we know he is all about the numbers. Um, I figure we're going to be getting those re-releases either in the 25th year of the original release of each CD, if not sooner, depending on what he's planning on releasing in the future as far as box sets, compilations, you know, special editions, those kind of things. But I figure he's going to re-release each of the CDs that he's got, well, that he's put out, that have not gone diamond, and I figure he's going to do it in order to help them reach diamond status. So, what do you guys think? Do you think he's going to re-release each of these? And, if he does, will you buy them? And will it matter to you whether or not it's the original track listing or whether or not he adds something special to it? Will that have any bearing on whether or not you choose to buy the CD as a re-release? But I've just been putting a lot of thought into this. I've looked at the numbers and those are the ones that have not gone diamond. And I figured with the silent release of the Chase 25th Anniversary Edition that we may be getting some more of those in the coming years. The first one being next year in 2018 with In Pieces. Okay, so you guys let me know what you think. And that is going to do it for now. This is Ice Pets Queen, and I am tripping out.